All right, so the next president that we're going to take a look at is Herbert Hoover, who was in office from 1929 until 1933. Herbert Hoover was the 31st president of the United States. Uh, one of the most prolific things in American history was the Great Depression, and during Herbert Hoover's administration, the Great Depression uh, was started. Uh, it started with the crash of 1929. There was a lot of panic and a lot of widespread, uh, there was a lot of widespread panic and people began to pull their money out of the banks all at once and out of stocks and bonds and things like that. And that's what caused the crash of 1929. Uh, also, during his also during his administration, the 20th Amendment, or the lame duck movement, occurred. The lame duck movement is when the president is now sworn on January 20th instead of sometime in March. So that also occurred. So FDR actually took office. He was the first president to take office on January 20th. Okay, like Andrew was talking about with the Great Depression, uh, this was a thing that completely impacted Hoover's as president. Like, when people look back at Hoover right now, they see him as the president who was not able to help America really at all throughout this crisis. Um, he's attributed with this because even though it really didn't happen under his watch, he really couldn't do anything to help us or get us out of it or give anybody hope about the things. And this was where the term Hoover Mills was coined because of the fact that people were living in these terrible you know, places around the U.S. were just, I mean, they were, it was just an awful place, you know, with these little shacks, and he was the one who was, they, nobody could really do anything because of how Hoover was doing. He had this whole philosophy of, you know, let's not, the, the thing will just turn around. Well, it wasn't going to turn around in that case. But uh, maybe one of the only good things of his presidency was his water uh, reconstruction as far as in the West and helping people like that and uh, construction of the Hoover Dam. Yeah, <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to grade Herbert Hoover. Nick, what would you give him? An F. F? A complete F. Yeah. Well, I would give him an F because he did not do any, well, he did not really do that much with the uh, Great Depression. You know, we really need something uh, to do that. Okay, Lee, what would you give him? Um, I would give him a D because, well, he was, he didn't do anything I give him a D. I sort of agree with Wayne, and I definitely think if he has something as terrible as a Hooverville, all of those conditions named after him, that's definitely not something good. Okay, Major. I give him an F minus. <laughs> he was an abysmal failure. He <laughs> let he let the Great Depression not happen, but under his administration it began to occur. And under his policies, he did absolutely nothing. That was his philosophy that the government should stay out of businesses. And maybe if he would have helped before, then the Great Depression wouldn't have been prolonged. Okay. I would give him a D minus because I believe that he handled the Great Depression in a terrible way, but also I applaud him for the building of the Hoover Dam. Okay, I would give him a D plus because I think that, uh, like you said, as far as the only good thing with the construction of the uh, West was as far as the Hoover Dam. Also with the Great Depression, I would say he did like a good job handling it, but it was a completely new thing that had been seen in American history as far as with this economic collapse. So I'm not going to give you know the entire 100% blame on him for not being able to pull us out of the worst recession in U.S. history. Mr. Hayward. F. <laughs> what? Just like a policy, like a vision of what to do. Okay, so now we're going to get a final grade on Herbert Hoover. Okay, so after the vote, we will give Herbert Hoover a D minus.